Welcome everyone to today's video with the Dimitrov Boulay Piano Duo. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov. And my name is Sofia Boulay. And in today's video, we're going to talk about Technique 101. Efficiency. Now let's explore two tips in order for you to improve your efficiency and improve your technique. So the first one that we want to start with is dynamics. Dynamics are very important and I will mention just one thing that's extremely important for you to know right now in this video. And that is playing too loud. The majority of mistakes that we see very often with our students and other people that we see that we get questions from online is that they play way too loud. When you play too loud, we call that inefficient. Why? Because if you think about it, playing loud will cause your arms, your hands to stiffen up and get tired. Once you get tired, you will be able to play only slower and slower and so you're, you're not achieving what you want, you're not achieving the speed with which you want to play, it sounds ugly, and also you're getting slower and slower. You can't keep the pace while you're playing your piece. And that's why you have to try to practice softly. Now you can take it even one step further. So a little bit more advanced would be in your passage to check where can you make a decrescendo, where can you decrease in sound in order to save energy so that you can play longer and faster and also for it to sound musically better. For example, I'll take you an example uh, from my own practice. I was practicing for a concert yesterday and I was doing this message in Gershwin in which I have this uh, to play. Now I practiced it going in a decrescendo. Now instead of staying on the same level, Dynamically, I actually make sure that my thumb going down is as soft as possible. So, make a decrescendo. It sounds beautiful and I conserve energy. So, I am able to play my passage faster and for a longer period of time. You get less tired this way. Definitely. And perhaps the other idea would be to practice the whole passage softly because that's a little bit more advanced. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a simpler way to do a passage like that would be to play it lightly and softly because that works in my experience really well. You kind of unlock your hands, you unlock a little bit, you have a little bit more freedom, you feel less heavy and then you discover that you can play much faster and when you get excited you will anyway go louder later if you play it for somebody but if you balance that out with soft playing that's going to work a um, miracle. That's a great tip so whatever level you're at this tip of really watching your dynamics, playing soft and playing light wherever you can, be it the whole passage or be it in certain areas of the passage, you just apply this tip to whatever level you are at. And I think that generally lighter playing sounds better than heavier playing. Definitely. Now, let's move on to tip number two and that's going to be staying close to the keyboard. So that's directly connected. Dynamics is also very well connected to efficiency, of course, but staying close to the keyboard is one of those things that also works miracles. Oh, today I'm such a rich vocabulary, miracles. Um, staying close to the keyboard is extremely important for playing fast as well. Also, it's extremely helpful in controlling your dynamics as well. So it's the king of efficiency if you can, if you can develop that skill. So in order to show you a tip today about that, we'll have to swap places. So the passage I wanted to show you is also from the Gershwin, from the Rhapsody in Blow. Uh, Blow. <laughs> <laughs> the passage I'm going to show you as an example is also from uh, Rhapsody in Blue. Since Ovir showed Rhapsody in Blue, I don't want to be left behind and I <laughs> want to show off too that I can play that piece. Um, it's this passage. So if you see the right hand, here it's all about the right hand because the left hand has accents, has this accent. So I can afford to be not that efficient, not that close to the keyboard or be a little bit more free with my left hand because it needs to produce accents. Now, if you think and if you look, the, the, the right hand is doing this. Only this. Now, if I start throwing my right hand, it becomes very heavy and at some point I feel like 
first of all, it's ugly because we're talking about, again, loud playing. It's inefficient. It also makes me tired. It doesn't sound good. But that's also because I'm playing loud because I'm staying so high up. I'm throwing my, my right hand. But watch, if I, if I just drop my hand and I just tap the keys, I hear a big difference now that I'm playing and not even watching my hands. I'm just watching them on the camera. I'm trying to play with inefficient movement to play soft and that's very difficult. Yeah, I'm much more efficient. So when I'm watching this in the key in the in the camera, I can see the example so well. So I would recommend that this is just one passage. I mean, you can apply that to so many things. Just discover what which hand is moving way too much and drop that hand low to the keyboard and keep it keep it just close. And then and not also feel that I'm making much more many more mistakes mm, yeah. when I'm inefficient because I lose contact with the keyboard so being efficient is going to in in that sense being close to the keyboard is going to also I'm not going to use the same word it's going to work um, very well for you <laughs> now different techniques need different kind of movements and the more wait a second you... <sighs> wait let me uh, because I'm, I'm still <laughs> spinning now back to my place <sighs> my throne. Now different techniques actually need different kind of movements. So the more you know what technique needs what movements, I think the easier it will be for you to be efficient. Now we did make a uh, video specifically about efficiency in octaves. So if that's something that you, if you have octaves in, in one of your pieces right now, you're struggling with them, definitely I would go and check out this video over here. Or over here, no? No, over here. Anyway, as always for us, was a great pleasure recording this video for you. Like the video, subscribe to our channel if you like to do that. And we will see you next week again. Thanks for watching.